So Ag Alto Balloon is a project that has a purpose to get uh, data through uh, the atmosphere. Uh, this project is for aviation and weather. They allow us to, to know whether uh, the weather is good for the aviation and predict the whether it is good or not. So the first step of this project was first have the authorization. Because without authorization, you, just, you cannot just launch a balloon whatever you want. And the second step was to have the good equipment in order, in order to accomplish this project. Because uh, having a good equipment is going to allow us to have a good data and, and also going to allow us to have a good prediction. So the solution that we developed was centered around four quintessential components. The first one is a sensor that was used to collect data in the stratosphere. Uh, the second one is a camera that we use to get visuals of our balloon parkour. The third one is a radio transmitter, radio frequency transmitter, that would send the data from the box to our computer. And the last one is a GPS that we will use to track the balloon and uh, also find it once it has landed back to the ground. The sensor that we used is the BME680 sensor. It is a temperature, pressure and gas sensor that will, will basically be able to collect the data from the stratosphere and then through the LoRa RF RH950 radio frequency transmitter will be able to send that data through radio frequencies to our computers up to distances that go up to 20 kilometers. And the GPS was just used to locate, so it is a random GPS as well. The software that we used were Arduino and uh, Visual Code Studio, Visual Studio Code. And uh, we used the C++ language, which is the, the Arduino programming language, as well as a, a, a microcontroller, which will control the whole system. So uh, we used uh, three libraries mainly. The first one was the BME680 uh, library, the SEED BME680 uh, library, which is the library that was used for the sensor, to control the sensor. The second library was uh, the RFRH950 library, which was used to control the radio transmitter. But we, however, needed a third library, which was the SPI library, without which the radio transmitter library just is no use. We cannot use the, the radio transmitter library without that library as well. So we need both of them, we need both of them. To program the, the, the microcontroller, we use the Arduino IDE uh, in couple with the Visual Code Studio IDE. The goal of this project is to send the balloon into space in order to have data as temperature, pressure, longitude and altitude. And for that we use some stuff as uh, we, we use LoRa sender and a LoRa receiver. The LoRa sender and the LoRa receiver will communicate between them. And the, the LoRa sender uh, will be in the, in the stratosphere and, and will send us the information as temperature, pressure and longitude. And we get the information from the LoRa, LoRa receiver that we put in an Excel board. We use also a camera to take picture when the balloon will be in the stratosphere and also we use in the we use a balloon and in the balloon we have helium gaze and also for the design of the balloon we use a logiciel which is fusion 316 but before that we had we had a first prototype and the first prototype was polyester box so as my teammate said the goal of the project was to launch a balloon launch a balloon in the stratosphere so that we can collect many information. That's why we divide the work in two parts, mechanical part and computer part. So as my camera said, I was working on the mechanical part, but as the head of this project, you cannot stuck only on the mechanical part. You have to navigate both in both parts, which is the computer and the mechanical part. So in order to follow the advancement of this project, we usually use, we, we did use, a, we did choose a day which we can meet all of us and see what we can improve and what we are working on. Before we venture to Tambacunda, we needed to be certain that the prototype works perfectly. We needed to be certain that the GPS and the sensors were working well. 
And so, in order to test the GPS, we needed to know the minimum distance that we needed to reach because we needed to reach a minimum of two kilometers. So therefore, my friend Ahmed and I, we ventured to walk all the way to Ngaparu because from to Ngaparu is approximately three kilometers. We walked all the way there, we noticed that the signal was still strong and it was still good. So therefore, we came back. And in order to know whether the, temp the temperature sensor was working and also to know whether the CO2 sensor was working, we just needed to simply display it in the air. When it is in the air, it would measure, measure the temperature and it would measure the CO2 also. The high altitude balloon helped us to learn a lot of things, like the team working. Team working is very important because when you have to discuss with the others, like mechanical and electrical and computer scientists have to work to make a project work. And like for that, we have to communicate. And the communication, we learn it because like we have to make the stuff like the well, mechanical part and the computer part together, like the code and the design. So. Uh, this project make us like strong because like we have to prepare our new project like the Blim uh, project and the Weasel Balloon and the Blim was linked together because they help us, we use that skill to make that project to work and I think that the project gonna help us to improve our skills and to make other projects work. Thank you.